we interrupt our regularly scheduled Christmas in July content to make Christmas in July content inspired by current events. Have you all seen the new images released from the James Webb Space Telescope? Because if you have not, you need to go Google them. These are just a few of the images that they've shared. It's a huge deal. These are some of the most detailed photos of far, far, far away space that we have ever seen. And the quality of the pictures are incredible. I mean, can we just appreciate this? There's so much information in here that's way above any of our pay grades, but I know the scientists all over the world are working on it. And honestly, these are just beautiful shots. And I thought, this is nature at its finest, inspiring us. And more importantly, can we Christmas tree this? We'll find out in today's episode of Decorate With Me. We are taking inspiration from this picture of the James Webb Space Telescope because I just find this so fascinating. The first thing I took away from this is the movement that we see. I liked that even though it was so far away and it's just a moment in a picture, we're still seeing movement. And so I wanted to incorporate that uh, kind of like a shooting star, if you will, with these, I think they're like 50 inch uh, sprays and these are just beaded strands. Now they have these, I, I chose for gold um, because I, I think it represented kind of the hues that we're seeing in here, but they do make them a clear. And I thought we don't need a lot of these. We just need some cascading throughout the tree just for that little bit of movement mixed in. I had to go straight for the base of the tree for something like this because this is such a cool and unique tree. It needs a cool and unique base. There, there's just something about space that makes you think geometric, or at least for me. And so I really wanted to go geometric with some elements like lanterns. And I, what I love about them is they come in a lot of different shapes and sizes, but they're in a smoky glass. So it's got that cool kind of spacey look. You can mix and match the LED candles and the waterfall string fairy lights, which I have some of these. Uh, we've used them in our Valentine's Day nook. We use them in our spring nook and they're really fun um, to play with. And they're really like, they look like the stars that we're seeing here. And I thought, you know, if you're gonna make a tree for something like this, you know, if we're gonna make a starry night galaxy themed tree, you gotta go all out, right? <laughs> <laughs> so besides getting a black tree and all this stuff, I mean, I think these lanterns are just really, really fun. I probably will use soft twinkle lights in every project ever because I am just obsessed with them. I love them. I own so many of them. You guys have seen them in pretty much all of my Christmas tree videos uh, because they're just that beautiful. Now I took all of these pictures of the soft twinkle lights and you can see them moving because I thought, you know, we have white, we have amber, we have blue, we have red, and those are all colors that we see in this picture. And I thought, you know, if you're probably buying a black tree like this, you're probably going to get the unlit one because it's cheaper. Um, I would do that. And I thought, you know, we can light this tree up with twinkles that look just like the stars and cosmic galaxies that we're seeing in here. And I would imagine they're twinkling away. And I thought, okay, we've got the lights, we've got the base, we got the tree, we need a tree topper. Boom. Look at this multi-dimensional star. It's got the geometric elements, it's got the red colors, it's kind of that creamy color that we see in here. And I thought, okay, this is perfect. Now, again, we've talked about the geometric and the kind of sciencey things, and part of the reason I really keep leaning towards that is because think of all the scientists around the world right now that are analyzing these photos, right? They're taking these pictures apart quadrant by quadrant by quadrant, analyzing every little speck, everything. And I thought, you know, that's kind of cool and amazing if you think about somebody trying to break all this down. And so when I remember that I saw this ribbon um, last year and I really loved it, thought about getting it, but I was like, I don't know, I don't, it doesn't really fit with anything um, that I was doing at the time. I think this ribbon is a perfect fit. Like, does this not remind you of like a scientist going through here, picking out a little quadrant, analyzing a star represented by this little dot here? Probably too abstract, I get that. But I thought if you could just make little loops, nothing crazy, doesn't have to be big bows, doesn't have to be big, um, you know, flourishes or anything like that, just little loops 
popped in the tree, especially the black tree like this, I think it could provide a nice little break of the black with a little bit of pattern. It's just a little interest, a little sparkle. It wouldn't be me without adding more sparkle and I hesitated about putting this type of sparkle in where it's almost that icy look but I was very particular about the picks that I did if you move the maneuver the branches so they're kind of we'll say a little bit more spaghetti looking than normal branching it's gonna look like little clusters of stars the lights are gonna twinkle through this clear crystal and it's gonna look so pretty I also thought of continuing this theme with adding a few not too many of these ornaments that are technically a snowflake but they also kind of look like a star don't you think at least I do in my head probably too abstract but nevertheless I thought a few of them mixed in especially just a few near the lights so the light kind of amplifies as it goes through it is gonna look so pretty and by extension adding hanging crystals like these but I thought it kind of reminds me of some of the blurred stars that we see here where they're just kind of they're a little out of focus a little you know we're still processing them and I thought that's a really nice way to put ornaments on the tree without putting literal ornaments again when the light hits this these are going to look so pretty it wouldn't be a galaxy inspired tree if there weren't literally star ornaments on here I found some of these ornaments the kind of almost rosy gold and then the red because there's a lot of red in here and the red is the infrared that's the new tech that we're seeing so I wanted to make sure we got plenty of red in here they do have some in silver but again I chose these two colors I'll link all of everything down below like always but I thought these were some great literal stars that you could put on your tree now these are glass and so therefore breakable but you know if you're making a cool galaxy star tree you need to have some cool star ornaments I had to had to had to include these ornaments I bought some of these they're about eight or nine inches long and they're so pretty they're so pretty they're dangling uh, ornaments it's one ornament and it has three layers of stars cascading down they have a nice movement to them and I thought if you rotated these on the tips of these branches especially in a tree like this that has specifically the branches kind of it scattered so it looks a little bit more natural when you get to something like this you can layer these nice stars with you know some of these little crystals and it's just going to be a really beautiful way to round out the tips of your tree is it too much it's really hard to tell you know when you were making the graphics here in basic powerpoint how this is going to look but in my head this is going to look spectacular whether you have a more neutral setting in your home or maybe even a kind of themed room I think a tree like this with the primary focus of the black and the crystal and then the pops of the red and blue just inspired by the new imagery that we see in the space telescope is gonna look spectacular if you have all this nice warm light glowing at the base like the stars I mean if I could put this up right now I absolutely would <laughs> So uh, what do you guys think? Is this a little bit too far? I think when you ask the question, can we Christmas tree it? The answer is yes. Is it for everybody? No. But for those of you that might want to tree up year round or you want something fun and different, uh, this, this could be the tree for you. <laughs> all right, friends. My name is Alessandra. Thanks for decorating with me today. As always, the links to all of the products that I use are down below for your shopping pleasure. And I hope you make sure that you are subscribed and you're getting your notifications because there is a lot of great holiday content coming out and you're not going to want to miss it. All right, friends. Until next time. Bye.